Hey there, my name is Ali. Today we're gonna discuss the text tool in Photoshop, the shortcut T. However, we like almost finished everything in the last courses. We're only remaining with the text tool and some of the tools we're gonna, I'm just gonna go through them very fast. This one is the zoom tool. When you click it, you can like press click, move right will zoom in, move left will zoom out. However, you can access this by pressing control or command and space. It will give you the same one so you can zoom in or zoom out. Okay, the other one is uh, that one, the rotation tool. You can rotate your whole canvas using it. However, if you want to reset, you can press reset. If you do it while holding shift, it will go like 15, 30, uh, 45, uh, something like that until it's 90. Okay, let's go to the text tool now. The text tool actually, when you open it, it works with the color, which is your foreground color. So if you're standing on another tool and we pick something like a cyan color, and we click the text tool, the color up will be the same one as your color down. Okay, so let's start writing anything. Let's say the like, uh, Photoshop. Let's write in capital and small, Photoshop. Okay, let's just choose the Arial font. Okay, the first thing we have here when you should do like write anything, you have this one. This one, it changes your font from like being vertical to being horizontal okay if you don't like if you're if you just do it like that it will also work you don't have to select your thing however if you want to change the font you see if i change the font to anything else nothing happens unless i write but if you want to change this one itself you have first to select it by double click then you can change the font to whatever you want let's say we want that one okay the second one, some fonts will have this and some others won't. Some fonts have like the regular, the bold, the light, they have like different variations. And then we have this one, it's the text size, you can click it and just make it smaller and bigger or you can open it and just choose or you can just write 30 for example, any font you want. Okay, this one is like choosing between sharp, crisp, strong, I'll zoom in so you can see the difference. or like we can make it smooth it will have like smooth edges <laughs> okay and then let's say we have photoshop let's say we have the word adobe photoshop okay you know you have two enters the first one in the middle of your keyboard will give a space if you have the one in the num lock at the down right of your computer if you press it it will as if exactly you click that okay and if you press escape as if you clicked the X, it will deny whatever changes you made. Okay, so let's say I'm selecting all of these. This is like my canvas. When I hold control, I can see it. If I make it to the center, everything will be center. If I make it to the right, everything will be leveled at the right. The left, everything will be leveled at the left. This is just some basics. If I want to change the color of this word, I'll just click on it and I'll choose like a different color. Press OK. Okay. One more thing, I can click on all and I can go to that one. This one is like warping the text. You can choose between like a lot of like variations already built in. Let's say we want to make it like a flag. So the text will be in a flag shape and you can like play around with the band, the horizontal distortion and the vertical distortion. You can choose, let's say we can do an, a lower arc and then we could increase like the distortion. Yeah, just like play around with the text until you get something you want okay now i'll click on that one okay now it's still a text document if you look here you have the text thingy if you create a new layer it's not the same a new layer doesn't have the same as text this is defined for photoshop as text layer at any time if you're working on your photo and then you bring the text tool and you click anywhere on the text you can edit it using the text tool However, you can't, for example, color it if you, or you erase something for it. For example, if I take the eraser and I click on it, it will tell me this is a type layer. You must rasterize it to be able to delete something from it. I'll press cancel. However, if I want to do that, I will press first control J. So I have another copy just in case. And then I'll use my eraser, press click, tell him OK. Then with a small size eraser, I can like erase something from the photo. If then I want to get back, like the, the problem with this is that if you use the text and you click, 
you can't edit it we created a new text layer i'm gonna cancel that one so this one you can edit it but only as a photoshop layer not as a text layer this one is a text layer we can press text and we can like escape just make sure you're standing right on it i'll press ctrl a to mark all I'll ch you see they have a question mark here because we have two different colors but if i choose one color for them the color will be there okay let's go back to the band i don't want this band actually so i'm gonna put it back to zero percent and i'm gonna put that to zero percent zero percent okay we're back to normal let's explain that one this is the last thing about the text tool i'm gonna explain this one is like a text options extended options a little bit the first four are uh, the first three are the same as th this one is like the font type this one is like if you wanted bold regular italic or whatever this one is the size of the font and here we have this one this is the the spacing actually between them we can like increase it or decrease it this one is the vertical distortion you can like increase the like the spacing between them but in the vertical way then we have these two the t and the t let's say we mark only the upper one this one will like increase its size but only on the horizontal direction this one will increase its size only in the vertical direction and the last one here if you decrease it it will move it it will move the text down if you like increase it it will move it up so if you can like choose if you want to like bring two things together okay we have here like several options the first one if you click on it it will bolden your your whole font let's bring it back to like regular but this bold is different this bold is actually using the photoshop itself not using the font so if you're using a font that doesn't allow bold you can still make it bold using this one you can also make it italic you can add like several ones you see it's clicked you can click like all of them together okay but let's do one by one so we understand okay this one is the italic this one will make everything capital for you this one will make everything capital but if you type a capital letter like the p here it will be bigger than the rest of the letters this one let's take the last letter just wait let me move it first let me move it here so we can see clearer let me just darken this one out something like that let's choose a bright color so we can see it better yeah that's good okay let's say i only marked this letter i opened that menu and then i made this one this one is like to the power so it adds it up if we remove this one and add this one this one is like in chemistry you know when you like write carbon dioxide co and then you have that small two down okay and the final two this one is underline this one is like a stroke at the middle okay let me tell you one thing like it's really cool about fonts we will go to google just write free photoshop fonts open like any of the links you find in front of you okay let's go for that one actually the star jedi like it's the font i like the if you like any font you can just download it i'll download it in my desktop i'll open it i'll open it then i'll open this one dot ttf it will show you like how the font looks like all you have to do is press install and once it's done go to your photoshop market the font was called star jedi so i'm gonna search for star jedi so now i have the star jedi font i can use it this way you can like upload like fonts on the internet i mean i mean download fonts and use them okay that's it for today's tutorial now we're done with all the like the tools we have here okay let me do like one final thing this one is actually if you right click it you can edit your toolbar you can like change the move tool instead of v you can add to any like option you want however if like you're using a computer which is not yours and someone changed them and you want to bring them back all you have to do is press restore defaults and you're good now we're done with all like the toolbar now we're gonna go a little bit advanced in the next tutorials i hope you enjoyed like the very beginner and basic stuff thank you guys